Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today is how your gym can be stronger than ever with these five strategies. How your gym can be stronger than ever with these five strategies. Now, before we get into our topic today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, my mission, you know, here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can, you know, to as many people as I can, you know, really across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym, you need funding. You have an existing gym, you need funding. You know, we can help with funding for up to $400,000. It's unsecured. There's uh, no restrictions on use. Uh, the basic requirement for that is a 680 or better credit score uh, in Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion and a minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. Now, check the links below under financing and funding you know, for more information on that program. And additionally, there's additional options in there for you uh, for additional funding opportunities uh, for your gym. So with that said, let's get into our topic today, and it's how your gym can be stronger than ever with these five strategies. And so number one on my list is you want to know your business better than anyone else. You want to know your business better than anyone else. And the first place I would start on this is know your KPIs. When you walk into your office first thing every morning or when you log on, you want to know what your KPIs are, your key performance indicators. And, and some of these are, are bigger numbers, bigger picture numbers. You know, you know, for example, what is your rent as a percentage to your total revenue? What is your payroll uh, as a percentage to your overall revenue? What is your recurring dues, your recurring fees? What is that as a percentage to your base operating expense? You know, what is your, your, uh, on marketing, you know, what is your cost per call, your cost per show, your cost per sale? You know, do we know these numbers? You know, do we know our numbers in terms of, you know, staff, how many outbound calls are they making per day? How many contacts are they making? How many appointments are they getting? What is their show percentage? You know, what is their conversion rate? How are we doing on point of sale referrals? You want to know all of this. I mean, truthfully, you can't really maximize what you're doing unless you do. And so the big message here is know your business better than anybody else. Number two, you want to embrace, you know, the evolving technology to your advantage. Technology is constantly changing. It's nonstop. Make sure you embrace it. How can you use it to get better? How can you use technology not to make things more complicated, you know, how can you utilize technology to simplify what you do, to scale what you do, to duplicate, you know, what you do? And the thing is, it's, it's like some of these folks at uh, a lot of gyms that have an app. You know, I kind of jokingly tell folks that, yeah, there's, there's two kinds of gyms out there. There's gyms that, that have apps and gyms that have them and don't use them. Okay. And if you're going to get the technology, you want to make sure you embrace it, you know, and, and apps a good one, right? Okay. But we have to utilize it, you know, to our best advantage to grow our business, but embrace the technology. Don't run from it. Okay. Now that doesn't mean you, you need every, you know, shiny, shiny new object that comes out there, but embrace the technology. How could it improve your business? Um, number three, I see this one so often, but you know, money must be planned. In the business world, money must be planned. And here's what I mean by this, is you're always looking for money. You're always looking for funding. You're always looking for financing. You're always looking for investors. You just never know when you might need it, okay? There may be an opportunity that comes up. There might be a hiccup, you know, in the economy and something happens and you need some the funding to kind of get you over but money must be planned. You know, I would encourage you if you haven't done that, you know, check out our financing and funding links below. 
you know, plan this out, you know, because at the very least, when you're looking at your business, even a business that's doing well, you should have a minimum of 30 days operating capital on hand. Okay. And if you don't have the capital on hand, maybe you've got the line of credit on hand or something of that nature. Okay. And really, ideally, two to three months. Okay. But money must be planned. If you wait until you need it, it's probably going to be too late. At least a lot of times it is. Okay. Uh, number four on my list of, you know, how your gym can be stronger than ever, you know, with these five strategies. Number four is you want to leverage your customer, leverage your customer. And here's what I mean by this. What you want to develop in your business, in your gym is that community mindset. Okay. You know, you're here to serve. Okay. We're a resource center. We're here to solve problems. We're here to provide solutions. You know, we're involved in the community. We know the families. We greet people by name. We're going to give super service. We're going to give that good faith effort. Okay. We're going to provide the best member experience out there. And we just can't say we're going to do it. We have to write out that plan of action on how this is going to be done. And then number five on my list of the, of the strategies to make your gym stronger than ever, you want to realize that this is an ongoing game. Okay. This is ongoing. You just don't get there and it's done. It's like your members, you know, they're trying to get fit. You just don't get fit. And now you can stop. You have to continue. And when I say it's an ongoing game, the, the biggest roadblock to that is that issue of complacency. Okay. And, you know, just because we've had success in the past, doesn't mean we're going to have success in the future. You know, we have to continue to embrace these strategies and continue to embrace our staff training and continue to embrace, um, you know, our marketing programs and continue to embrace issues of uncertainty, but it's an ongoing game that we have to play. So take a look at these five strategies. How do you stack up on these? Be really objective on it because if you can improve on these, you know, you can really, you know, put your foot on that accelerator and start to improve your business. So folks, appreciate you being here today. Again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. If you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, uh, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then again, for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, you have an existing operation, you need funding, you know, we can help provide funding for up to $400,000. It's unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. Minimum credit scores of 680 or better in all three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and a minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. Check out the links below under financing and funding for more information on that program, as well as other programs to help provide funding and financing, you know, for your business. So folks, I appreciate you being here in the channel today, and we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.